Astronomers in Hawaii have released what's being called the most structurally revealing imagery of interstellar comet 3I Atlas. These images, captured by amateur observer Kalopa stars from the dark skies of Hanaka'a, Hawaii, have provided a definitive view of a rare and controversial optical phenomenon. A razor-thin anti-tail projecting toward the sun, these stacked exposures processed using advanced AI refinement techniques confirm the presence of a highly collimated stream of material that is currently challenging standard cometary models. This is happening right now. The observation, recorded using a C-Star S50 smart telescope, leverages the unique vantage point of Earth's current position relative to the comet's orbital plane. According to data released this week, the imagery reveals a nucleus structure that appears distinct from the diffuse comas typically associated with solar system comets. Instead of a chaotic cloud of sublimating ice and gas, the Copa stars data shows a concentrated, coherent projection that has ignited a fierce debate within the astrophysical community regarding the object's composition and origin. Scientists are analyzing this data immediately. So the primary focus of this new data set is the anti-tail, and look, this is a feature that usually represents a geometric illusion caused by heavy dust particles lagging behind a comet's orbit. However, the precision of the structure visible in the Hawaii images is unprecedented. Mainstream astronomers are currently interpreting this as a result of Earth passing through the comet's orbital plane, viewing the dust sheet edge-on. Conversely, dissenting voices, including researchers tracking the object via platforms like Space Tracker, are suggesting the structural integrity of the tail implies a density and mass inconsistent with loose dust. The implications are significant here. Current analysis suggests that for a dust tail to appear this sharp and linear, the particles must be significantly heavier than typical cometary grains. This has led to immediate speculation about the presence of heavy metals or dense rocky materials within the nucleus. As of the 30th of November 2025, teams at major observatories are cross-referencing the Hanukkah data with spectroscopic readings to determine if the dust is actually composed of standard silicates or something more anomalous. We're witnessing this in real time. Now, these findings from Hawaii aren't isolated. They corroborate a growing body of evidence collected throughout November 2025, indicating that 3I Atlas is behaving in ways that defy easy categorization. The clarity of the Copa stars imagery has moved the discussion from theoretical modeling to direct observational analysis. The question is no longer whether the anomaly exists, but what physical mechanism is capable of maintaining such a precise structure against the chaotic forces of the solar wind? Let that sink in. Astronomers are now prioritizing the analysis of this anti-tail geometry as the object approaches its perihelion. The distinction between a natural projection effect and a physical structural anomaly has become the defining scientific question of this launch window. With closest approach scheduled for the 19th of December 2025, the window for gathering definitive data is closing, making high-resolution captures like those from Hanukkah critical to the ongoing investigation. This changes everything, man. Current reports indicate that the Copa stars imagery was acquired through a process of stacking multiple short exposures to eliminate atmospheric tervlesures, a technique that has allowed for sub-arc second resolution of the comet's inner coma. The resulting image displays a level of contrast that highlights the sharp boundary between the comet's main tail and the anomalous anti-tail. This specific observational technique has proven essential in cutting through the glare that has obscured details in previous observations. Researchers are focusing on this contrast. According to the latest technical breakdown from the observation team, the anti-tail remains visible for an extended duration, which is unusual for transient geometric alignments. Typically, as Earth moves through the orbital plane, such features appear and vanish within a predictable time frame. The persistence of the 3I Atlas anti-tail, as documented in the Hawaii footage, suggests a continuous ejection of material or stable physical structure that remains aligned with the solar vector. And look, this is not speculation. 
the data from the CS50 observations is now being integrated into the global tracking database managed by agencies monitoring the object. Space Tracker has updated its orbital parameters based on these new luminosity profiles, refining the estimated size of the nucleus and the density of the surrounding coma. The consistency of the anti-tail feature across multiple observing sessions in Hawaii provides a robust baseline for comparison with incoming data from space-based assets. Scientists are paying attention to this. The significance of the Hanukkah observations lies in their ability to resolve the neck of the comet, the point where the coma transitions into the tail structures. In typical comets, this region is turbulent and diffuse. The Copa stars images, however, show a region of surprising order and linearity. This observation connects directly to the core mystery of why 3I Atlas appears to maintain a coherent shape, despite the intense solar radiation pressure it's currently experiencing. This leads to a critical question. If the object is a standard dirty snowball comet, the outgassing should differ in intensity and direction, creating a more ragged appearance. The smoothness and sharpness of the features seen in the Hawaii images argue for a nucleus that is either monolithic, a single solid rock, or metal body, or one that is outgassing in a remarkably uniform manner. Researchers are currently running computer simulations to see if any combination of ice and dust ratios can reproduce the exact visual signature captured in these images. The latest analysis shows a discrepancy. When standard cometary models are applied to the 3I Atlas data, they predict a broader, more fan-like distribution of dust for a comet at this distance from the Sun. The razor-thin quality of the anti-tail observed by Copa stars deviates from these predictions by a statistically significant margin. This deviation is what's driving the current urgency in the scientific community to obtain follow-up spectroscopy. Think about that for a second. To understand the gravity of this observation, we need to look at the mechanics of cometary tails. A comet typically has two tails, an ion tail of charged gas blown directly away from the sun by solar wind, and a dust tail that curves along the comet's orbit. The anti-tail is an optical illusion that occurs when Earth crosses the comet's orbital plane, causing the curved dust tail to appear to point toward the sun. For this feature to appear as a sharp line, the dust particles must be large and heavy, resisting the push of sunlight. If the object is accelerating, the thrust must be coming from a different mechanism, one not immediately visible in the optical spectrum. The significance here is high. The disconnect between the visible structure and the measured acceleration is the core mystery driving the current news cycle. Standard physics decades that the material we see leaving the comet, the tail, is the same material providing the thrust via Newton's third law. But if the tail is composed of heavy, slow-moving dust, it creates very little thrust. For the object to accelerate as observed, there must be a high-velocity gas jet that's somehow invisible or obscured in the current images. Researchers are looking for this jet. The Hawaii images don't show a bright, distinct jet separate from the anti-tail. This absence complicates the picture. It forces astronomers to hypothesize that the gas jets are perhaps symmetric or diffuse enough to be washed out by the glare of the nucleus. Alternatively, the heavy dust theory might be incomplete. The possibility that the anti-tail itself is related to the propulsion or non-gravitational movement can't be entirely dismissed until the December 19 close approach provides better angles. This raises a major question. Could the 3I Atlas nucleus be rotating in a way that focuses the dust release? The collimation seen in the Hawaii images could be the result of a specific rotation pole orientation. If the comet's pole points directly at Earth, the material released from the equator would form a disk that we see edge on. This wheel on edge appearance would mimic a razor thin anti tail. Determining the rotation period and pole orientation is the next immediate priority for observers. Scientists are working to determine this. Light curve analysis from the last 72 hours shows a steady brightness which argues against a rapid chaotic tumble, 
A stable rotation supports the disk hypothesis. However, for a comet to maintain such a stable rotation while outgassing vigorously usually requires a large, massive nucleus to act as a flywheel. Estimates of 3i Atlas's size are still refining, but it appears small under a kilometer. A small active comet usually tumbles chaotically. The stability is another anomaly. That's the critical point here. The stability of the structure seen by Copa stars suggests an internal density distribution that stabilizes the rotation. This brings us back to the metal-rich hypothesis. A dense iron-nickel core would provide the angular momentum inertia needed to keep the spin stable and the dust release planner. This fits the visual data but requires the object to be a shard of a destroyed planet core, a relatively rare class of object known as an M-type asteroid. Yet it's behaving like a comet. This is unprecedented. The term interstellar is key here. 3i Atlas is not from our solar system. Its composition reflects the star system of its birth. The fact that it looks so different from our local comets, specifically in this anti-tail structure, is direct evidence of different formation conditions. The uniformity implied by the sharpness of the anti-tail in the Colopa star's images is the specific data point fueling the techno-signature discussion. While likely a natural coincidence of viewing geometry, it's statistically unlikely enough to warrant the intense scrutiny it's receiving. This changes the narrative. Now reporting on this event requires acknowledging that anti-tails are a known phenomenon. Comets are and Roland in 1957 and Pan Stars in 2013 exhibited prominent anti-tails. However, in those cases, the feature was clearly a broad fan of dust seen edge on. The 3 i Atlas feature is distinct in its narrowness. Comparisons to historical comets show that while the type of feature is known, the quality and geometry of this specific instance are outliers. Researchers report this distinction. The Sea Star S50, the instrument used for this discovery, represents a democratization of this data. In the past, only large institutional telescopes could resolve these details. Now, a network of observers can track the evolution of the tail hour by hour. This high cadence of data is crucial because if the anti-tail flickers, pulses, or changes angle independently of Earth's motion, the static dust theory collapses. Current observations reveal stability. So far, the feature appears stable. This stability supports the orbital plane crossing explanation. If the tail were a propulsive jet, we might expect variability. The fact that it remains a steady razor-thin line as Earth moves suggests we're indeed looking at a static sheet of material. This reinforces the heavy dust conclusion but leaves the mono-disperse mystery unsolved. Why is the dust so uniform? Scientists are engaging with this. NASA's response has been to continue its planned observation schedule without deviation, signaling confidence in the natural explanation. However, the agency has acknowledged the public interest in the unique visual properties of the comet. The space tracker community has become the de facto hub for these real-time updates, bridging the gap between the raw data from amateurs and the peer-reviewed conclusions of professionals. The implications are significant. As we move into December 2025, the viewing angle will change, Earth will move out of the orbital plane. If the anti-tail is a projection effect, it should widen and fade. If it remains a tight, collimated beam even after we leave the orbital plane, then the projection effect theory is falsified. That would be the moment the scientific consensus fractures. The Hanukkah images provide the baseline against which this future widening will be measured. We're witnessing this in real team. The specific date of the Hanukkah capture, late November 2025, places it exactly in the critical window before the plane crossing completes. The next two weeks are the test. Every night that the anti-tail remains razor thin adds tension to the model. If it persists past the geometric alignment window, researchers will be forced to consider non-gravitational confinement mechanisms, magnetic fields, or in the most extreme speculation, artificial containment. This leads to the next step. Spectroscopic analysis is the only way to solve the particle composition question. Light reflected off the dust carries the fingerprint of the materials. If the anti-tail is iron-rich, the spectrum will show specific absorption lines. If it's water ice, it'll look different. 
The brightness of the feature in the Hawaii images suggests a high albedo that's reflectivity which is consistent with ice, but the mechanics require heavy mass, which suggests metal. This ice versus metal paradox is the current focus of laboratory modeling. Scientists are analyzing this paradox. One proposed solution is dusty ice with a high metal content, pebbles of iron encased in ice. As the ice sublimates, the heavy pebbles are left behind in the orbital plane. This hybrid model satisfies both the reflectivity data and the mass requirements. It describes a comet formed in a region of a protoplanetary disk where metals and ices coexisted, a snow line boundary in an alien solar system. Think about that for a second. The concept that we're visually inspecting the snow line geology of a distant star system using a telescope bought by an amateur astronomer is a testament to the current state of observational science. The 3 i Atlas event is dissolving the barrier between big science and public participation. The data point is allied, the mystery is real, and the resolution is pending. Here's what's critical. The controversy angle provided by Avi Loeb serves a function in this scientific process. It forces a rigorous defense of the null hypothesis. Because the claim of engineered stability is on the table, mainstream scientists must calculate the dust dynamics with higher precision than usual to prove it isn't artificial. Whether natural anomaly or something more, the image from Hanukkah is now the reference point for all future discussions. This is happening now, the scientific method is grinding forward in real time, fueled by data from amateur backyards and professional observatories alike. We're watching the process of discovery unfold, pixel by pixel, frame by frame. The final answer may not arrive until the object is outbound, but the data collected right now, this week, will be the key to unlocking it.